So good, good stuff from Gods from California. And we are back. We are finding a min, min. Look at this kind of match. The King of Crocs against the Noodle Girl. My God, this is going to be hype. This is going to be hype. And if Kirby Kid, who is using King K rule, he just needs one good entrance on Peckham and he will lead. Uh, he can make a lot of damage. Nice back throw. I like that option from Kirby Kid. He wants to keep Peckham, you know, off stage. He knows that Mimi can struggle off stage. But nice. Nice use of the belly armor from Kirby Kid to maneuver around Min Min's arms. Yeah, and that's a, that, that's the buffed arm. He obtained the back the back throw, and he right now is holding that very dangerous. No, Min Min, why? Why, Sakurai? Why you do this to this beautiful girl? She needs something to come back to the stage. Let's see. Nice, the deflector with the up smash. Very good technology we are seeing right here, right now from the little girl. We are not with the mega what trying to find the hit to kill. The forward tilt It's not going to be enough trying to find something. I see Pegman being very, very smart using the dragon um, breath, the dragon's laser. He's really doing something. Again, the mega what's not going to be enough. The thick boy. It's going to survive from those kind of damage, and this is not good. This is gonna be enough. No, the mashing, the mistakes from Peckham. I see some nerves from the player that is using Min Min, my dear Sieg. Oh, and QB Kid was going for that spike, but Peckham with the air touch, and now Peckham finally takes QB Kid's first stock. He had him at pretty much 200%. Oh, nice use of the armor once again from Kirby Kid. I think this is going to be one yeah. of the deciding oh, factors so of the game. The game it stinks so bad, man. It, it feels so bad to see a character going down with such a kind of hits, but that's the life of the Min Min. I'm no Peckman. Peckham, sorry, is really able to bring this back again. He has the power up. Let's see if he can bring some Dragon Roars, the down smash, nice. Trying to find something, he's going. He's trying to fish something from the low recoveries. There is no crown. There is no crown. And he and now Pac-Man has it. Let's see if he's gonna use it. Nice. Wearing all those tools from Min Min, still unable to take that stock against Sig. Is the same situation as in the last one in the first stock. He took almost 200% damage and is unable to take it right now. That's a problem that Beckham is facing against this thick croc. And the parry with all the trust in the world. My god, this croc is here to bring some heavy bites. And now Beckham gets QB Kids second stock. I think that what Beckham needs is not to die early or not die at all because we saw him that once he, he, he has the momentum, he can make a lot of damage, he can put Kirby Kid in a lot of sticky situations. Oh, oh, and we saw Kirby Kid going for that game, but this time Peckham manages to make it back on the stage. But now Peckham is already at oh, 120%, a nice conversion from Kirby Kid taking it so solid. Kirby fast Kid showing us. Yeah, that's, so fast. That's no, no, the, the fast input for that hop up tilt, upper, sorry, was so good in the right part of the sweet spot of that upper. The crown hits like a truck and was the right option to take out that stock from uh, Peckham. I still, I still feel that Peckham has a very good fighting chances. He's able to stay as long as possible in the platform. Um, we saw him lost two stocks very, very fast with very few percentage because Min Min, oh, there is no other reason because Min Min. Uh, but if he's able to maintain his feet on the platform, I think he has a good fighting chance against this very savage croc. That's right. And something that I want to point out about Kirby Kid is that he knows that Min Min's recovery it's not the best in the sucks. game. That's yeah, so it, it sucks. <laughs> let's let's just say it like it is. It sucks. But Kirby Kid was taking advantage of this. And yeah, I really like that strategy for from Kirby Kid. He's also been using those that though that belly armor so well. So let's see if he can keep this up for the second game. And we're going to Pokemon Stadium. There's that use of the crowd. Oh, there's the game. Oh, 
a little bit of a miscalculation from Kirby Kid, but I like the option from Kirby Kid. He's he's letting Peckham know that he's going to do it again and again and again until it stops working. Yeah, yeah, and it's not gonna stop working, man. Like he is bringing the threats. He's stating very, very clearly that you are going to get game sooner or later. But look at this, Peckman trying to bring the fight right back to Kirby Kid. Block the dash attack. It's ew, that angle is terrible. That angle is terrible. Yes, yes, very, very smart. Kirby Kid knowing that the hitbox from uh, from the dash attack is going to be very horizontal, and using that into his favor. Gimping it, and right now a Mega Watt already here. Oh, it's a very damaging match right now. Already 96% with very few trade blows. Let's see if he can take it. If Beckman can take this stock fastly, but right now he's being fully controlled again, trying to go for the game. Kirby Kid is, is a complete shameless criminal. He doesn't want to give any kind of mercy. He's not playing fair. He's here to win. He's here to take the flat combat. But finally, it's going... Oh my god, oh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous and a mistake that is going to be very expensive. Second stock for Peckham is gone. Very well confirmed by Kebeke. I think that Peckham should have tried to go for another character. And now he manages to get Kirby Kid's first stock. I, I was just about to say that we might as well be looking at a Tresero Santatero. Nice option from Peckham trying to go for the risky spy. Oh, but he didn't get that different punish once again. And the situation doesn't look on Peckham's favor. He's missing. He's lagging one stock behind. And I, I don't know. I think that this matchup it's so hard for me, Min, because she, she she's a character that thrives on keeping her opponents away, keeping them on a distance, but Kinky Wu, he has so many options to get in, he can use the armor from the belly, he can use the crown, he can use that Ooh. cannonball, so I don't know, Peckham should have stayed with the Min Min. No, I, I think that the, the option is not bad, because if, if he finds two good hits, that belly is gone, and it could mean death, and right now Peckham is bringing this back straight into Kirby Kid's territory. Let's see if he can do something. Going back into the stage, what's going to be the option? He's going to roll. Nice, but he places himself in that terrible situation once again. Oh my god, Kirby Kid, what he's going to do? He has to find this uh, killing option soon, because I think Peckman is trying to adapt faster and faster, and one mistake could be very, very hard for what's match. He, the, the, the tough boy, the tough guy of properties from King K. Rule saving there right here. And again, using the laser, he has to be careful, sick because I can see Pekman taking this away. He's trying to stay away. He's trying to, uh -oh. to play this smart. And look at that. Look at that. He's even using the armor against to extend the, the hitboxes. Oh. Okay, Pekam Pool might as well take it. He just needs one good hit. And I think it's time to, you know, stick to your guns. Try to play a little bit more patiently. Okay, going for the crown. Nice catch patient. from Pekam. He needs it's one totally hit. Okay, it feels so dangerous. Oh, the mistake there. It's gonna be so bad. And oh. yes, finding the hit still not. We saw the spark, but it's lying to us. Sakura is still lying yet again. Trying to find something right here. Peckham with the options already controlling fully the, the, the stage for, for a lot more than a minute has been oh, completely nice. hit. And the Brandman is gonna hit from the top. I told you, man. I told you he understands now the way uh, Kirby Kid is playing and he adapted playing from afar, being very, very smart. And that's what adaptation can bring you. Able to download your opponent while in the fight. One stock left, he was able to take two. Great comeback right there from Peckham, who is still alive. And I think, I think he has a very good shot to stay in the tournament. That's right, but something that I want to point out about Peckham, I do think he needs to go for the character change. He had to put so much effort to get that last stock. So maybe he can make things a little easier for himself going for another character because we saw him, you know, he, he just need, he works so hard. So I don't know, hard. bro. I There's don't know, bro. For, a change of for someone who plays Cody in Street Fighter, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you have the moral authority to say that. Like, 
Watch yourself I, in the mirror. The moral, I have the, the moral Watch authority. yourself in a mirror. Listen to your own advices, my friend. Let's see what we can do right here on the Smash Bills. Because again, I see Peckham playing uh, the, the matchup as he has. But this is the problem. He's dead. Oh, coming back to the stage. I, I thought that was complete death. But no, look at that. Look at that. He is a complete master of the Noodle Girl, but he is getting a lot of damage right here. Still full control of the platform by Kirby Kid in the last moments. This is a ho his counter pick. And again, getting the throw. This is very bad situation. He's able to get back. Oh, no, Kim. It's, it's a, you said it, man. It's, it's, a, it's, a hard, it's a hard work life, but man, if it's, if it's fulfilled. It's a, that's, I mean, it's a hard life, like, uh, the great Frederick we once said it's a hard life for this Beckham, for this Min Min main. Oh, and he's being oh no, just look at the damage that Kirby Kid has already put on Beckham's name. Nice down smash, nice conversion from Kirby Kid with that aerial attack. Okay, this could be if he goes for the down smash, using the crown to negate Min Min's options. The crown is back on the king's head, so he's gotta be careful for that option. Now let's see what Peckham can do. He's already at 106%. Kirby Kid taking his time. He knows he's got the advantage. He's know that he can tank a lot of Ooh. hits. And that's going to be what Peckham needed to take Kirby Kid's first stock. Yeah, that's 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 very troubling. The up smash is gonna be enough. Yet again, it's not looking good. The counter pick from from Kirby Kid was simply too good. He knows that uh, the close the close combat, the close distances are going to hurt Min Min, and we are watching exactly that the strategy placed into action by Kirby Kid when he is a complete the complete owner of the stage using the projectiles very well with the cannonball again. The second cut doing enough the option and the spike. To fully destroy the career of this man, we are out of here. Sadly, sadly, Pac-Man was unable to bring his gameplay in a in the smallest platform of all the official um, stages, and he is going to be eliminated by the destructive and merciless Kirby Kid. I think we are still on the winner side of the bracket, so. Peckham, he, I don't know if he has another character, I hope he does, but as I was telling you before the start of the third 